following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to uh, Robert in New Jersey. Hey, Robert, what's going on? Hey, Tom. A great show. Thank I've you so to much. It for years. You've got a great thing. I've been uh, listening to you for over a decade. It's well, amazing. That... You've done a great job. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. This uh, quote is by Andre Guide. Be faithful to, what, to that which exists nowhere but in yourself. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow, the Dow Industrials are up 97, NASDAQ up uh, 51, S&Ps are up 17, gold contract up $3.60, trading at 1,223 an ounce. Silver up 9 cents at $16.85 an ounce. Platinum up 6.20 at 1,201 an ounce. Copper up 7 pennies at 260 a pound. Light Sweet Crew, that's got some juice into it, up $2.50, trading at $51.34 a barrel. Bonds, we have the 10-year up two ticks, 128.13. 30-year down three ticks at 146.26. King Dollar, King Dollar down 920 ticks, trading at 94.17. The Euro up 84 at 114, and the Yen down 1.57 at 118.88. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. And the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? We go over and we take a look first at the future market. What you're going to see, you got a higher high out here. It spiked the high of Wednesday. And the, the high that I'm talking about that it spiked on Wednesday was the um, after the market closed the uh, S&P itself spiked up uh, all, about 13 points. Uh, right now, you get the future trading at 2084, and it was uh, the high of yesterday was out here was at the 2079. Uh, we take a look at this, and we uh, bisect and dissect this baby. Let's put this on a 10-minute. Uh, there's no doubt that uh, you have they have the price going uh, here, folks. Um, the volume, no, the volume's not there. The volume actually is going to be anemic today. Bottom line, higher price, you can go higher. Right now, thus far, we've only done 500 million shares. So we're going to come in with about 700 million on the NYSE. If we take a look at the uh, NASDAQ, the NASDAQ's going to come in uh, with some volume. NASDAQ will come in about uh, probably 1.8 billion. Uh, if we go take a look at the SPY, the SPY, this is what we have happening with the SPY. The SPY right now, is trading at 208.84. That has got over the last swing points that this consolidation has been in for quite a while. Thus far, we have 66 million shares traded. Um, the swing point that uh, it basically got over was 174 million, as well as 125 million. We are at that 208.55. And what you have with 208.55 is this. You're actually over. Um, just about, let me put this on a daily and you'll see what I'm looking at. You're, you're over all the swings except the high of the actual market. Because the high of the market, folks, on December 18th, what we had is that you had a spike high in the marketplace and it gave it up and it gave it up pretty quickly. Uh, we're into that bar, though. You, if we close uh, today over this uh, 208.97, uh, which we haven't hit yet, but uh, bottom line, you you close over that, that spike high will get hit. Pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. But uh, we'll see uh, how this uh, comes into the close. The three Qs, NDX 100. We, if we use the three Qs and we take a look at it, that's trading at 105.93. Uh, inside the three Qs out here, that also is, is over the last uh, swing points. The high in the three Qs is 106.24. Uh, that, that's going to get tested. 
you know, uh, the volume again, I mean, anemic beyond belief. You're talking about 15 million shares, um, and we're going into uh, 35 million. The IWM, we take a look at the small caps. We'll see what the, what's going on with the small caps out here. What we have with the small caps, that's trading at 120.73. The high out there that it's going after is the 121.38. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Bottom line, gold is held up pretty good. We are trading out right now at a price point of 12.22. We've done 100,000 contracts out here. Uh, it's really pressing into the low. The, the range on gold today was uh, 12.32 down to 12.18. Um, we have light volume as you're pressing into uh, the lower end of the consolidation that this has been in. Um, oil. Let's go to the oil market. Uh, next, we take a look at oil. Oil has got some uh, juice into it out here today. CLH5. What we have with oil is this. Oil's done uh, 499,000 contracts today. And that would say that you're still on a dead cat bounce here. Oh, why? Because what you had the last time that we were up here, when, when gold went topside on the 3rd of February, you had, I believe it's 550, let me see. There was 645,000, you know. So I suspect that we're going to go up and test that. That, that high there was 54.24, uh, and right now you're at 51.38. Now, let's go take a look at King Dollar. King Dollar, folks, okay? looks to me that we get a top that is basically in place. Uh, what we have out here today, and this is going to be wild watching this whole thing shake out. So, King Dollar right now is down 900 ticks. It's been off 1,000 ticks. Is that important? Yeah, price is no doubt important. You have a high volume swing low out here that it wants to go test. That's 93.38. We've done 40,000 contracts today. That has an expansion of contracts as you're moving down. You know, the last two days we had hit highs with 32,000, 24,000. It's come off that high again. And I suspect what we're going to see, um, number one, well, we're going to get the test. When we get that test of that swing point of 93.38, we'll see whether the volume continues to come out, meaning gain, expand as the dollar goes lower. If that's in fact what you get, that's going to bring the dollar into a much larger correction than a normal correction. What you have out here today, dollar's going down. Guess what? The market doesn't care, okay? Uh, and so we'll, we'll see uh, how that dynamic uh, plays out because what has happened is as, as the dollar's gone higher, the market likes it. It goes higher. As the dollar had pulled back, bottom line, we pulled back. Not today. Not even close either. Uh, and what is intriguing is that over in Europe today, Europe was up big. You know, uh, our Dow right now is up uh, one half a percent. The Nasdaq's up one percent. S&P's are up nine tenths. Uh, you had the, the FTSE was flat, uh, but the DAX was up uh, pretty big. The, the DAX was up 1.5 percent. Bonds. Let's go to the bond market. We take a look at bonds. And what you have with bonds is this. Uh, bonds haven't given it up yet. Uh, TYH5, the, the bond market itself, if we is trying to get back inside its higher range. Uh, what we did out here this morning is absolutely rejected lower price. Uh, it had lighter volume on the rejection. We've done on the 10 year right now, you've done 1.3 million contracts. You got down to a price point today of 127.27. You're trading at 128.13. And uh, to get into a higher range, the 10-year would have to get into 128.23. That would bring it back inside the range, which it broke down on the 22nd. If we take a, that's your 10-year. We take a look at the 30-year. What we have with the 30-year is this. 30-year right now is trading out at 146.26. This also, this had uh, 328,000 contracts, low volume, rejection of lower price. Sorry, one second. There we go. Um, we are at 146.25. That 147.12 would be the number. Uh, that you'd get inside the higher range. 
Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. Now, let's take a look at some of the uh, equities out here that are basically moving this Dow Industrials and the uh, NDX. Inside the Dow Industrials, what you have out here, moving it higher is Cisco. That's the leader out there. That's up 254. That came out with numbers last night. Market likes it. JP Morgan is second. That's a, up a dollar eighteen. You get Exxon Mobil up one seventy, trading at ninety two thirty, and Pfizer is up sixty. Uh, what is unusual out here is that you get American Express just getting smoked. That's down five seventy five at eighty dollars and twenty three cents. Johnson and Johnson continues lower one seventy four. 98.64, Verizon's down 37, and Coke is off uh, 34. You stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Trade with confidence and clarity while using the software that thousands of institutional traders rely on to make the best and most accurate decisions. Choose from a thousand equities, currencies, and futures instruments utilizing the TAS architecture. As seen on Bloomberg terminals worldwide, the TAS Profile Scanner is a benchmark technical filtering system that thousands of traders rely on, and now you can too. For a limited time for TFNN subscribers only, we've reduced the price to just $97. That's over $70. 75% off. John Logan hosted a special subscriber only webinar in December, and you'll gain access to that archive as well, so you can learn exactly what the TAS Profile Scanner can do for you. Try this product out. No matter what you trade, the TAS Profile Scanner can help you make more informed trading decisions. There's no obligation to pay anything. Don't let this offer pass you by. Get your 30 day free trial to the TAS Profile Scanner today by signing up at TFNN. 
Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials are up uh, 111, Nasdaq's up 53, S&Ps are up uh, 19. Now, let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman at the Chapman Wave. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, Basil has an outstanding program. You can get it right on your cell phone. You want to watch Tiger TV, folks, just go to TFNN.com, and you're going to see on the right-hand side when you're in your cell phone, it says mobile devices. You hit that. Tiger TV comes right up. You get the audio, you get the video, you get the, all of the above. Basil also has a great newsletter. It's the opening call. You can test drive it absolutely free. Go to TFNN. You're going to go to newsletters, trading newsletters. You can test drive it 30 days absolutely free. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? Very good. Thank you. Yes. So you actually got to fly out of Boston. I was very lucky. That's I got a miracle. To fly out of Boston. It is a miracle, and I need to be down here and uh, manage to get here on time. Going back, I hope it's going to work out because I believe it's starting to snow, and we'll see. But it's uh, going to snow again. Oh my God! I, I believe so. Yeah, and, that's, uh, that's that's pretty <laughs> what amazing. Do you do? It is. But um, well, it's so certainly not it's snowing out. in the marketplace, Basil. Well, it's not snowing in the marketplace. It's an interesting market. And, you know, I, I'd spoken to you uh, about this last week. Uh, actually, for, for quite a few weeks, I've been saying to you, in the Chapel Wave methodology, the idea is to uh, identify the lowest low bar and merely count each successively higher peak. And the concept is so simple. In real life, it's not that easy because you've got market uh, um, news, you've got other events market pullbacks that occur, but in essence, what we're looking at, and I'm showing you this chart, this is actually the comments that I made for my subscribers this morning. And what I pointed out that was considering that there was still nervousness out there, we have to consider it a decent session yesterday, closing almost unchanged. And the Dow is really walking the nine period moving average, that's maroon line. But with today's high, one of the reasons why I've been positive on the market not all the sectors, one sector that we're not uh, positive on, but this is very important. The, I've got what's called the left side, right side time price matches, basically yes. a cup, cup formation. And that had today as the day, either today or tomorrow, as the day, the time was correct in getting a left side, right side price time match to say, that within this period, you know, today or tomorrow, there should be a test of the 18,103 level. And the MACD and the stochastic are still very strong in the daily chart. Now, I just wanted to go in the, the big deal that I'd made with you was I couldn't understand how it would happen because there were so many market uh, cross currents going on. You remember two weeks ago, the market fell quite sharply. The Dow went down to just above 17,000. But if you're looking at this dash green line here, you will see that the price held beautifully. And my, my contention has always been that from the lowest, most identifiable low, you should get at least four higher peaks. That's peak A, I label them, peak B, capital uh, uppercase B, and peak C, I use uppercase for rising prices. And my, my uh, interpretation was that there should be a price move above in the Dow, above 18,103, the moment it went to 18,104, leg D in the weekly chart would be unfolding. And as I said, the premise of the Chapman Wave is to be able to get you from a starting point to at least a D. Okay. Well, the irony of this whole thing, and this is what I was pointing out this morning to, um, to listeners, that the Dow Diamonds, that's the trading vehicle that trades parallel with the Dow, hadn't yet gone to a leg C. And the Dow was already ahead by going to D. The diamonds had to go above 180.71. Today they went to 179.92. We're not closed yet, but we've gone to a higher high. That means that I can now place, I'll do it right now as we're talking, a C above that line. The SPY had gone to a B, a peak B, and needed a leg a C, and a C would start at 208.98. As I'm talking to you, we've gone to 208.96. Those three cents are going to make a difference because that would say that the spy has gone to leg C. This, well, I don't know if you have it in your charts, but there, there was a price mistake. There was an, uh, I don't know how that print went at 212.97. 
The SPY never traded there that day. So that's an error, and they've not yet corrected it. And the SPX, that's the S&P 500 index, needed to go to 2,093.55. The high so far today is 2, what am I looking at, 2,08831. So it's a little bit behind. So let me put this into perspective, because a week from tonight, I'm giving a webinar for subscribers and all the details on the front page of TFN, and I'll just show it right here. Um, what's important about this is I've done a tremendous amount of work trying to correlate, and as I've done for a couple of decades now, the relationship of skyscrapers, of, of really big edifices. It's, it's like an icon to man's ego. You get this time price freeze of a building like the Empire State. The papers yes. were signed in August of 1929. The market top was September the 1st, September the 3rd, actually, at um, uh, 180, uh, sorry, 386. And then, obviously, it was a huge uh, turn down in the market. Well, the relationship that is so important for me right now is that the Dow is starting to match the 1928-1929 price point of the Dow at that time and the price point now. There wasn't quite such a correlation before, but what I'm putting together with that or what are the relationships? What about interest rates? I, mean, I don't realize, know if people realize that the Fed was actually pulling interest rates down back in the late 1920s. So there's tremendous uh, correlation between certain aspects, uh, socioeconomic as well as political. I'm going to be discussing that. And as I say, it's on, on the front page for um, anyone who's got a portfolio that they're looking after, anyone who's interested in the markets, anyone who's interested historically. So I'm really looking forward to that. And we just saw that uh, certainly in the, uh, the Dow Diamonds, we just saw that um, the peak that we were looking for, peak C. Okay. And it's going to be perfect, uh, perfect timing for this because February, I think, is very important because my outlook so far for February is that we're going to squeak to higher highs to make that leg C in the S&P and the Dow and the Dime, uh, in the S&P, the SPY and the Diamonds. The Dow is one peak ahead. And that it says that there's a good chance that the Dow will either make leg E when the S&P later in the month or the very beginning of March goes to that leg D that I'm really looking forward to. But what's really important about this is the relationship of the monthly charts, where they are, and how can one try to... I, I'm not saying that we're going in for a major 1929 crash. What I am saying is a correlation that people need to be aware of. It's always good to have knowledge especially in markets like this, this is a six-year bull market we haven't we haven't had seen something like this. this is a mega bull market how do these things end and they often end it's not usually a pretty ending when they come we want to be prepared and as it's moving up we want to be in the right position and if there are hints that we're starting to see major tops we know what kind of timing what we'd be looking for and those are the things i'm discussing and you remember i spoke to you about that 43 month match with the dow going yes. from back in October 2007 to, to the low of 2009, then back up to the high of uh, 2011 in May, that was 43 months. Well, if you take that May, May high to the low that was made October of 2011 to December, that was 43 months. And as of this very minute that we're talking, we have not broken that. So if we move, that will be 44, 45, this 45th month higher, that means you've now got to change from that relationship there's often a time relationship to markets. Well, then we've broken it. And it means that the new leg up in the monthly might not be F. I might be able to label it brand new leg B. And that would start the right there, folks. Taking Come. something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're talking with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. And, of course, uh, Basil has a great show every uh, trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, now, as you're over at our website, at TFNN, folks, you're going to see right in the carousel uh, a free newsletter uh, and webinar by our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Uh, you can sign up uh, right here, right now. The webinar is going to be uh, next Thursday night, uh, uh, the 19th, okay? Uh, that little baby uh, is right on the front page. So, Basil, um, are you up in New York? Where are you? 
I'm actually in New Orleans. In New Orleans. Oh, cool, man. Yes. Well, I, I, it's, it was a personal matter. We had, I had to come down very quickly. And uh, going back, I did this. I'm not here. There's no entertainment value at all. It's uh, just a family personal matter. Okay. So, um, so I'm, I hope to be able to get back uh, this evening. So I'm sorry to have spoken through the break. I just uh, I couldn't hear on the earphones that uh, the music was coming up. I just wanted to say. Oh, I'm telling you, man, you're a trooper. You know, folks, if you haven't seen Basil, okay, he check this out. I know how much snow there is in Boston. Okay, I got a picture from my daughter, and let me tell you something, folks. You can't even get around. So Basil gets to the airport. He not only gets to the airport. He gets at, gets to the airport. He's going to get up on Tiger TV, man. I'm, I'm watching your picture, man. I'm just cracking it up. And we, listen, we really actually, appreciate it because it's, really, it's really cool, man. It really is. I thought, you know, we, we all like to be together. And we like to do the best we can. So I thought, I've got, a, I've got a free hour. I don't want to stand around saying I'm not doing my show. This is my show. So I did it, and everything was quiet. It was so fabulous. And suddenly there was this elderly couple and, and, and one person in the wheelchair, and they came up. And where did they sit? They was they could have been anywhere. They were right next to you, which of course they could do. Yeah. But they didn't realize I was doing then. And then there was two little kids, cutest little kids at the end of the show that came, they they sat and they were talking and playing. And um, Perfect. And then the lady said to me, I oh, hope hope we haven't interrupted anything. I said, No, it's just a national t uh, show. It's yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. yeah, that so cool. Yeah. So I wanted to say that what's very interesting about this period, if you look at this chart that I'm showing you, that black line that that is called the nine period exponential moving average. Look how the market, this is the down monthly chart. Look how it's basically, I call it walking the nine period yeah. moving average. Look at that beautiful sport. But now there are hints that there's some kind of pullback here in, in the technicals. So my, my contention so far is that we squeak higher through February. Yeah. But you've got to be careful of March. March could be uh, quite a tough month in the market if, if I'm correct in my, my assessment of what's going on. So I thought I'd just finish up and just give, cool, <laughs> give you the end of the story. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Well, listen, you have a great flight, safe flight, and of course, uh, we look forward to the program tomorrow. Thank you very much. Yep, I hope to be back. I'm leaving for the airport right now. Thank you, Tom. Okay, have man. A have, have a great one, man. Have a safe one. And uh, for all those folks up in the Northeast, stay safe, folks, because that weather is intense, no doubt. Let's go to John in Winchester. Hey, John, what's going on? That's all right. We're going to get John. Uh, so I know what he wants to look at. He wants to look at Intel. Uh, we take a look at Intel out here. Uh, Intel uh, is, of course, a large uh, semi maker. Um, you know, with a market that, you know, is at highs, too, uh, bottom line, Intel uh, hasn't been able to do it. Uh, it come off the high of 38. You are trading right now at uh, 33.97 uh, with no juice. You know, you can basically you can pop into uh, probably 34.72, but uh, this has absolutely no juice. And where does it want to go? It wants to go down to that. Uh, October 15th, swing low. Um, it's, it's still, it's out there, it's wide open. Uh, Tesla, TSLA, if you wanna see, uh, one after the other after the other, folks, okay? Um, these equities are going down and going after that uh, October 15th uh, swing point, you know? So, bottom line is that, uh, you know, S&Ps themselves, well, that's, that's where it's going. Yeah, we're at highs, you get light volume. Um, you know, the S&P is not going to be hanging by itself uh, up at those uh, areas. That's just kind of, uh, well, it's not only my take on it, uh, but we'll see, we'll see how it shakes out. Tesla. So we have what Tesla is this. Tesla is trading down to 206 today, 201 today. Uh, come out with the numbers last night. Bottom line is that the uh, market didn't like the numbers. Numbers aren't that Great. Um, the last swing low that it was going after is 185. 185, January 14th. We had uh, 11 million shares there. So what you have today is you had higher shares. It didn't get all the way down to the 185. You got to 193.28, and you actually went up from there. What that's going to do... The volume, however, is much higher. So when you get higher volume, going into a high volume spike, what ends up happening? You're going to be right back downtown. Okay, it's, it's pretty intense, actually, uh, watching this uh, whole thing shake out, particularly with the high volume lows that 
have been laid out there, and there's quite a few of them. Now, let's go over to uh, Cisco. Cisco uh, got some juice out here today. See how Cisco is setting up. Cisco came out with numbers last night, and Cisco broke the swings, and on a daily basis, we broke them with volume. Let's go, so I can, we can make the case that it's gonna be an ABC structure on the way up. 2249 is your A point, 28 is your B, so you're talking six bucks, which would give you uh, 3192. That's on the daily. We put this on a weekly. On a weekly, you have uh, an ABC up too. Uh, same, same, it's, the exact, it's the exact same ABC up. Let's, so let's go over and we'll put this on a monthly and see what we have. And this is where more than likely, and we'll see what happens here. So on a monthly, this is what you have. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting watching this shake out. So put this on a monthly. We're at 29.38. Cisco had come down off the highs in 2007 from, tw from 34 to 26. 1.5 billion. You're going into that supply line. It's not just that supply line either. Oh, this is going to be up. You just made it through the supply line from uh, 2010. The uh, way that's set up is that, you know, yeah, you can get a test of the high up there. I don't think it's going to actually get up that high, though. Uh, so how this baby stays over the $27.74 is going to be important. The reason being is that you stay over that level, it can keep building cars to get up to that 2007 high. You know, and, and we'll see where that uh, does sh shake out. Uh, if we go, to, if you, uh, in the XAU, the HUI out here today, uh, what you do have, and this is uh, really intriguing too, because the gold contract did not, did not go up when the dollar basically has given it up right now. The equities, however, have continued to basically show strength. If we go over and take a look at uh, Gold Corp, what we have with Gold Corp out here, GG, GG, only up 53 cents. Uh, you've had a rejection of lower price on a continual basis. And, you know, we'll see how it, these attack the, the higher levels. Meaning Gold Corp, we're talking about a uh, $25 level. We're at 23, 25 right now, and we'll see how that baby comes into it. Uh, what I expect you're going to see is you're going to see a slight expansion of volume as we get up into those swing points because most of these are setting up like a, a sweet ABC structure on the way up. One of them that's given us that we happen, happen to own this equity right now, uh, but it's given an indication that it is going to be an ABC up um, is Pan American Silver. And th these are the classics, folks, when you P-A-A-S. And what it is is this. You're coming into, now, Pan American Silver's up 21 cents right now. Uh, what you have happening here, and this is where the real bullishness comes in, is that thus far today, we've done 1.7 million shares. That is what type of an expansion you're looking for as you're getting into the swing point and even before you get the swing point. And that's what we have right now. You know, the way this is trading right now, let's see, we have... Yeah, you only get 15 minutes left, but that'll end up doing 1.8 million. And, you know, that's a good number. You know, we had a swing point up there at 1.89, 1.7, 2 is the high swing point of uh, 11.95. And if, in fact, um, if this is going to be an ABC structure in the way up, what you're going to want to be is you're going to want to be all over the gold and the silver stocks, folks. The reason being is this. One of them are going to break first. They're going to basically break topside first. If, in fact, you get an ABC structure in the way up, you want to be all over the other setups out there that are set up for an ABC structure in the way up. If we look at an Eco Eagle, that very well could be uh, setting up also. An Eco Eagle is up a buck seventy-four today, three point three million. You're getting the expansion of volume big time. Yesterday we only did two point six on the way down. That was the 2.6 was going against 5.3, you know. So, in that context, there's there's some real juice uh, that that is happening in that metals market. Let's go over and take a look at the uh, SPY as we're coming into the close out here. The market itself is still uh, hanging at these highs, no no doubt about it. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 106, Nasdaq's up 53, S and P's are up 18. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back.
Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before, for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. No matter where you listen to programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.MOBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach out levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. 
In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, right now, you get the uh, Dow up 104 points. NASDAQ's up 55. S&Ps are up uh, 18. And if we go over and we take a look at uh, some of the issues. Uh, Baidu.com, B-I-D-U. Uh, this little baby, uh, you know, numbers last night uh, weren't bad, actually. Uh, but what they're doing, uh, basically, they're taking the baby down to 980. And that also, uh, you know, this is an equity, so check it out. You had the October 15th swing low at 194. You go all the way up to 251. You go up 60 points. And then what do you do, folks? You make your way all the way back. Uh, today we hit 199.70. You get heavy volume. It hasn't tested that uh, 194 yet, but you're going to see that end up getting tested. Uh, this is uh, basically, uh, it's not broken down. Uh, but when you do look at Baidu.com right now, what's this? You put this on a weekly. The way that this is set up at this particular point uh, is that the last six months, you have a, a fairly substantial top that, I'll do it this way so you can see, uh, that has been in place. The, actually it's longer than that. Yeah, it goes back to July of uh, 2017. That's how this uh, thing comes back. Let's see, if I put this on a daily, you can, it's pretty clean. So if we take a look at this, what you're gonna see, and this is where the, it gets dangerous from Baidu.com. So when you go back to July of 2014, anyone that had bought it in that period is in a losing position. That's, that's a long time. That, that no doubt is a long time, and that's particularly a long time in this market because that hasn't happened. Uh, we take this and we put this on a monthly basis, it looks like it can get dramatically lower. Uh, the first place that uh, I suspect we, we will try to get into is the break where it broke topside from. That was uh, 176.69, and that was in July of, 04, of 14. The reason being is that what you had there, the stock went from 176, folks, to 229. And once we're back into that again, which, which we are right now, that makes a huge difference, meaning that you broke down out of that price point. Uh, once you break down into the bar, that sets up much lower price. Uh, American Express, uh, not quite uh, sure, uh, AXP. Well, let, let's see, what we have with American Express is this. That's down 550 right now. Um, well, this is another classic, okay? So this is, it, you know, it is absolutely amazing, folks. There's no doubt with the S&P right now trading out at uh, 2086 and bring American Express up for a second. American Express is another one that uh, bottom line, this is whacking right against its October 15th swing low. Pretty amazing actually. The swing low on American Express, $78.41. It goes from $78 up to 94. Some of the, these expansions are pretty amazing. And then what does it do? From December 29th, it's gone straight down. You know, it hit a price point of 80. It did a dead cat bounce and got up to 85 yesterday. And now the baby gaps lower, 555 with monster volume. So now you have, you have 30 million shares at a swing point versus your high, last high volume swing low, which only had 9 million shares, even though that was a high volume swing low, what does that set up? Well, what that sets up, folks, is the building cause to basically break that whole swing low where that spike is. And, and when we put this on a weekly, you're going to see it's pretty amazing. I mean, they're bailing on American Express in a huge way. Maybe Bitcoin's going to take them over. Who knows? I'm only kidding. <laughs> um, but this is what you have. You can see, if you're watching Tiger TV, you, you're going to see this, if, and if you're not, I'll explain what you're looking at. On a weekly basis, you had a monster high volume swing low at 78.41. Volume out there was uh, 38 million. Uh, was it 38 million? Let's see. Weekly volume, 
Yeah, 38 million. Thus far, this week, we've already done 42 million. That baby's gonna not only break it down, it looks like it's gonna basically take it away. So that would set up American Express going back to uh, 73. And uh, so I guess they, they didn't even come up with numbers. With what's going on here, it looks that uh, Costco, it looks like they, to end the, the Costco uh, relationship. That's a big number, you know, because uh, what you do have, no doubt, is that uh, if you've been to Costco, folks, or any of those stores, you walk in the, those stores, uh, you think you're going to get a deal, and then what happens, uh, bottom line, is that uh, you end up spending big, big dollars. It, 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 there's just, there's, I don't think there's any way to walk out of one of those, whether it's Sam's Club, Costco, uh, BJ's, those, those big stores, without uh, spending like monster m amount of money. So I'm not quite sure whether you actually save anything or not. The uh, inside the NDX, oh, IBB, that's what we want. So um, the biotech index, IBB right now, you get a flat market out here, you're at 320. The IBB has tried to get the higher price um, last three days. Each day, it has failed. You're up three bucks right now, um, dramatically lighter volume once again. <laughs> Uh, so we'll, we'll see uh, if, they, if, in fact, they can get this over 3.22. It's hit 3.20.57 today, you know. And inside that uh, IBB, of course, is that uh, what you have, Biogen uh, is the largest weighting structure. That's up by uh, $2. Amgen would be uh, next, AMGN. What we have with Amgen, Amgen is flat, uh, CELG, Celgene. Is down 275, and Celgene is down with volume. That's going to be interesting. That's a, that's a, that's a weak one inside that NDX one. I mean, inside the biotech, she's uh, 115 right now, and it looks that she wants to go after. It's the same swing low, is it? No, they get this one has a December swing low. It's actually a, a lower low. We we did come down and, and the October. No, this was December. This is a, this has a high volume December swing low. That's where that uh, baby uh, is is set up. The small caps. Let's, let's just take a look at the small caps once again. Uh, and oh, I know. No, we're going to look at the XLE. XLE. Uh, you have you have oil up uh, in, a, in a big number. If we take a look at the XLE and we see if the XLE is getting any juice. You know, you're up a buck, but the XLE should be getting a lot more than this. So the XLE is not getting any love, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. Everybody coming right back. Dow Industrials right now up 104. NASDAQ's up 55. S&Ps are up 18. Gold is up 250. Silver's up 7 cents. We're going to be right back, folks. following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to uh, Robert in New Jersey. Hey, Robert, what's going on? Hey, Tom. A great show. Thank been you so much. for years. You've got a great thing. I've been uh, listening to you for over a decade. It's well, amazing. You've done a great job. I appreciate it, man. appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever. You focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. And if you're up at North, folks, stay warm. Man, it's freezing up there. This uh, quote is by James Garner. Believe in yourself and everything you can be. Because guess what, folks? Everything we need is right inside us. Grab it and have fun with it. Because as they say, this is it. Go for it. Muck it 
boys, let's take a look at it out here. Dow Industrial's up six, NASDAQ down 11, S&P's off eight and a half, gold contract up $4.40, trading at 1,264 an ounce. Silver, up two cents at $17.34 an ounce. Platinum, up three seventy-five at 1,238 an ounce. Copper, flat at 250 a pound. Light sweet crude, got toasted and roasted once again, folks. Down 10%. Down $4.18 at $48.87. That's going to be going after that swing low the next couple days. We'll see whether it's going to break it. 32 is the number out here, folks. The bond market. The bond market's phenomenal, folks. 10-year, rejected lower price. Had light of volume. End up closing up seven ticks at one thirty oh nine. 30 year rejected lower price, had light of oil, end up closing up 20 ticks at 149.29. What was that all about? That was all about fast and furious selling inside the S&P uh, as we come into this close. King dollar, King dollar up 611 ticks at 94.33. The euro uh, down 100 at 113 and the yen down 33 at 117.24. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We take a look at the spy, folks, and what you have is this. You have a failure on price, you have a failure on volume, and we're not even talking about at the swing point, folks. What we're talking about is this. Your SPY, you know, I'm going to use the spy because you get the everyone has the volumes underneath it versus the uh, the cash. But I'll, I'll talk about the cash also because the cash is absolutely crucial. The SPY closed at 204.06. We did 123 million shares. Yesterday, you, we did 124 million shares. Yesterday, what we, what we did is that we got over the high of the 28th. Now, that's not the swing point, but what it is is this. You know, we had established a swing high at 206.26 on the 22nd. We, came, we went sideways, then we came off that with volume. And the reason I'm using this bar is just to show, not to show the weakness, I was suspecting that that's where we're gonna fail. Why? Because the market is deviant, number one, but the market has shown that you have some high weighting stocks that are keeping the indices up. However, inside that market, you have stocks that are down 10, 20, 30, $40 at a clip. Disney today, we got up $10. That's an anomaly. There's so many more equities that are down and they're down hard. Bottom line we had out here today, you get a failure. You get a failure in price, you get a failure in volume. So what does that set up? It does two different things. We've been building cars to get to the swing low, which we got to, by the way, last, uh, this Monday. We got down to 197.86. We did that that day on 124 million shares. Well, the last time we were down there at 197.86, we had done 259 million. So what you have there is this. You were building cars to get into the swing low of December 16th. You rejected it with light of volume on Monday. Now, how do you know you're gonna be back down there? Well, the market tries to bounce higher. You either get, you, the market either bust it up or bust it down. Try to bounce higher. What happens when we bounce higher? No sellers, no buyers rather, lots of sellers, couldn't even make it to the swing point. As soon as you know you can't make it to the swing point, what do you have? You're gonna make it all the way back downtown again. So what you're gonna see here is we're gonna make another attack on the swing low of December 16th. We go into the three Qs, the NDX 100. What do we have with the NDX 100? What the NDX 100 did out here today is it got to a price point of 103.55, also got over the swing point that we're talking about on the 28th and gave it up. We did 33 million shares versus what we had at 46 million at 43 million at that swing point. What does that set up? This gets more ominous and this is why. What the three Qs had done is that your swing point on December 16th is 99.96. Big volume, 63 million. We come back down to that and we busted that by 30 cents. Had light of volume, but we busted it. When we come down Friday, it came down with heavier volume, 43 million. That's going to be right back there. That is trying to bust it. And what do we have? All these indices, folks, 
are looking at the swing low, and it's sticking out like a sore thumb of October 15th. That swing low of October 15th in the three Qs is 90.39. And if you think we're down right now, we're at 102.87. If we go over to the SPY and we look at that exact same correlation, right now the SPY is at 204.06. That's 181.92. It's a monster. It's a monster on the way down. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Let's go take a look at gold. Gold contract out here is building cause for higher price. And the, and the, the higher price that it looks like is building cause for, by the way, folks, geez, is up at the $1,400 area. So this is going to be wild watching this whole thing shake out. It was a sideways move out here in gold today. You had a low of a 12.56. We had a high of 1273. We did 123,000 contracts. So contract-wise, what you actually had is this. You're going into your sign of strength from, well, actually a sign of weakness, from the 29th. The 29th, we had traded down to 1252. We did 244,000 contracts. So you're going to build cars there for a while. I expect what you're going to see building that cause, though, the cause is being built for much higher price. Bonds. Let's go to the bond market. Now, this is unbelievable, okay? This is just like so far over the top. But the bond market itself, folks, has been the most consistent in analyzing the market place. And what the consistency has been is this. The whole world has said it continually, or thought continually, because we're in the probability game, that rates are going to go up. That would mean price going down. Well, guess what? It's just the opposite. And, and the 30-year not only wants higher price. So what we did out here today, we got to a price point of 148.18. We did 329,000 contracts. Now, that's light contracts, but guess what? You were, go, you were going into your trading day of the 22nd. The 22nd, we had 538,000 contracts. So you're going at the 538,000 contracts. You do 329. It rejects lower price, has light of volume, and goes topside once again. These bonds, folks, are projecting on a continual basis that this market wants a lot lower price. So this, this setup is pretty amazing. Uh, the 10-year right now is trading at 1.75. King dollar. What do we have with King dollar? Let's go take a look at King dollar. King dollar out here does a bounce out here today. And we take, when we take a look at it, let's see what we have volume-wise out here. So King dollar today, yeah, King dollar is done. Check this out. This is going to be intense, how this is going to shake out. Now, King dollar has been on a tear since 2011. It's been on a huge tear for the last six months. We hit a high out here on the 20th of January. 20th of January, we hit that high, we do 95, 85. 57,000 contracts, not bad, but not bad. Extended, no doubt. What did we do yesterday? Well, what we had yesterday is that the market finally cracked somewhat, 58,000. Your correlation though, folks, is today. This is the trip. So we go up today on 20,000 after coming down with 58,000. What do you think the, the probability is? The probability is, is that you're going to see the dollar back off again. We're going to do 50,000 contracts. The benchmark for the close of this week is 53.56. That's the number you're going to be looking for, whether you're a bull or a bear. 50, a close end of 53.56, if we do get that expansion in volume, what does that say? That says the king dollar is done. You know, and if you're watching the financial news, you can see the hypocrisy uh, inside the CEO structures. Then they're all over the place. And the hypocrisy inside uh, folks saying that the uh, uh, Fed should or shouldn't raise interest rates. This absolutely blows my mind. When the dollar was low, everyone says, look at this, the country's a mess, the dollar should be high. Now the dollar's high, what are all the CEOs saying? Oh my God, we can't, we can't handle a high dollar. The Fed can't do this, the Fed can't do that. Everyone wants free money, folks. You stay right there, we'll come right back. 
Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Check out the new look of Tiger TV. Now you can see all hosts, charts, and computer screens live in high definition. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Carol Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV. Now, crystal clear in high definition, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't seen the new look of Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional... ...and futures instruments utilizing the TAS architecture. As seen on Bloomberg terminals worldwide, the TAS Profile Scanner is a benchmark technical filtering system that thousands of traders rely on, and now you can too. For a limited time for TFNN subscribers only, we've reduced the price to just $97. That's over 75% off. John Logan hosted a special subscriber-only webinar in December, and you'll gain access to that archive as well, so you can learn exactly what the TAS Profile Scanner can do for you. Try this product out. No matter what you trade, the TAS Profile Scanner can help you make more informed trading decisions. There's no obligation to pay anything. Don't let this offer pass you by. Get your 30-day free trial to the TAS Profile Scanner today by signing up at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls. <laughs> Now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Uh, uh, Green Mountain, GMCR, uh, GMCR. That just come out with numbers, folks. And uh, this little baby is uh, getting toasted and roasted. That closed at uh, 121. It's trading at 113 right now. Uh, numbers uh, on Green Mountain go like this. So let's see what she's saying. Let's see. First quarter sales, the estimate was 1.5 billion. They took in 1.39. That's a, that's a big number. Earnings per share, 
uh, they're seeing uh, at, at a buck. Bottom line is that uh, that little baby is going back to uh, the last time that it did have a sign of strength. Now, folks, let's go over to our man, Mr. John Logan. And, of course, John kicks us off at TFNN every trading day, 8 to 9 Eastern Standard Time. He has an outstanding show. What John also has, folks, is a piece of software that's phenomenal. If you come over to our website at TFNN, what you're going to see is you're going to see the TAS Market Profile. You can test drive this absolutely free, 30 days. Uh, and we're going to walk through exactly what it does right now. Uh, what is so neat about it, folks, is that you have the different breath statistics daily, intraday, weekly, uh, and in a market like this, let me tell you something, uh, bottom line, you want to know what that internal breath is doing on a continual basis. And I'm sure when we're talking with John right now, uh, internally, uh, this probably changed pretty quick today. John Logan, what's going on? What's not going on? I know, man. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, the way they sold those S&Ps off was pretty incredible. There's, there's no doubt about that. And I'm My sure goodness. those those clocks were spinning, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're referring to that breadth uh, situation that we always look at. Yes. And, um, uh, if you want to, I can just get right into that. Yeah. Cool. Totally. Let's do it. Uh, here we go. Um, I got a picture right up for Tiger TV. Here you go, folks. Yep. All right. right. So... What I've got right now is, and by the way, if, if anybody subscribes to the scanner right now, we're going to give you the admin version, which gives you the extended version of the charts with the breadth. Yes. Uh, and uh, that's something that just people have been asking for. So we're, for TFNN subscribers, we're going to do that right now. Um, and on the screen, what I'm going to do here is basically show everybody a whole new way to calculate breadth, never been seen before, that we've been – you know, you actually sparked the interest of this last year, and uh, we just followed up on it. We did our back testing on it, and it's just been phenomenal, a phenomenal guidance tool, if you will, right. to trade stocks and the broad market indices. And we've got, if you look at this screen right now, we've got about 13 different major global indices that we calculated breadth on. It takes a lot of server resources to do this. But what we basically have done, and I'm just going to focus on the S&Ps right now. Okay. And about those dials spinning you were talking about, we'll get into that in a second. This yeah. product's really two products in one. It gives you breadth statistics and also ability to filter those internals. Right. We'll get in that in a little bit. But, um, you know, here's the weekly view as far as breadth goes from a charting standpoint. And what this breadth means is, is we're looking at all the internals of the S&P 500. Yep. And we're figuring out, you know, where's the balance and imbalance and as of recently, around this October 17th area, we crossed into, after a big sell-off that the breadth had called after September 19th, we kind of crossed back into positive breadth territory. And we yes. stayed positive. And last week, <laughs> by a smidget, we still closed positive. Right. right? It's, and, it kissed uh, it, folks. If you're in your car right now, it just kissed it. Just like if you're looking at just averages, it kissed it. And then it said, I don't want to be in right. negative territory right now yeah and that was very very coincidental to the levels that we talked about on the broad market around 1968 1970 so you still had a chance to pick a real high probability area to go long um and put a relatively tight stop around that you know, kind of Custer's last stance, if you will. Yeah, I, I mean, um, you can see the bulls and bears are fighting like crazy. I mean, this battle is huge out here right now. There's no well, doubt. That, that's th Well, there's a problem that lies within what I'm getting ready to say. Yeah. Uh, and that kind of coincides with what you just remarked, which is basically we've had breadth on our long-term weekly, which has, again, been positive since around October 17th. Um, and this is a really, really good tool to use as a guidance situation. On yes. Maybe you had to block out one side of the marketplace, being the, you know, the short side or the long side. But recently, we've had these breadth indicators. This is our weekly, and this is our daily. And we give you a little bit of statistics internally there on the side that you can look at the different percentages going on. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull up our daily. I'm going to block out the middle ground. We've had our daily flop around here. Yes. And that means there's been some really good intermediate trading opportunities for traders to go short in the middle of this, you know, kind of so-called broad market breadth positive investor kind of outlook from the long side. Right. Um, that being said, if we go into the S&Ps in general, and I'm going to pull up my S&P chart, 
we're going to look at our weekly, and this is our weekly, and this is this is kind of what we're talking about. We're looking at uh, the 1968-1970 area, which was touched again last week. That's amazing. Yeah, it, it, Tom, it really is. It uh, is. And, and it, folks, if you're in your car, what we're looking at, it just picture like a couple channel lines. They're not channel lines, but it's pitch a couple channel lines. And these numbers that John has, folks, are done before the fact, not after the fact, just so you understand. But that's where the market come down to. And they've hit them, t well, the last five days, they've hit them twice and bounced off them, which is pretty wild. Yeah, yeah this is our weekly view. And I'm going to go back to the scanner for a second. Oh, and that's also, even heavier. That's even heavier. Yeah, yeah. Also, let everybody know, I, I had the oil drillers up, and we're going to take a look at that in a second. Yes. Um, but I'm going to go back to uh, our futures on the scanner. And this is going to have our S&P 500 E-minis in here. And we're going to go to that. And we're going to... We're going to pull up a landscape chart, which gives you those multi time frame views, and we're going to see that 1968 area down there. So what this does is it also not only is a filtering system, which you've got some cool filters in there, it gives you a chance to look at the broad, you know, multi time frame views of where the most important um, inflection points are. Yes. And as I go down into this scanner and I mouse across the different time frames, it just gives me a real concise, uh, you know, view of what's going on. So as we go back to our weekly. On the S and P's, you can see we're still within a balance area, so we're we're kind of jerking around here um, on the weekly, on the long term. The long term breath still positive. This is our daily, and if you kind of step back from this for just from just for just a second, and look at what's going on here. Do you remember when crude oil was kind of doing this thing over time, where it was like lower highs, higher lows, yes, kind of coming into a point, and then boom, the bottom fell out. Right, right. now. That could happen on the S and P's, and we've had these breaths mix around enough to the point where, and also this classical kind of like, you know, pennant whatever kind of situation you want to call it, where we're just pinching in. Volatility is actually weirdly getting higher in the middle of this. Okay. And as it stands right now, um, you know, we almost hit this twenty fifty two up top today. I think we hit what twenty forty nine. Yes. Um, so again, you know, these things aren't to the tick, but it gives you a really good neighborhood to be aware of at least. And as we look at this, you know, it's always, you know, what do you do now? Um, right. Instead, you know, what's, we know what happened to the left of the of what do we do now? That's you know always easy to be a Monday morning quarterback, but sure. you know, what, what do we do moving forward? You know, what do we do moving forward? Investors still have the leverage from the long side. Um, you stay, that, you stay yeah. right there. Okay. 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 We okay. get uh, man, Mr. John Logan, folks, who are growling a problem with him out here. He kicks us off every trading day, 8 o'clock in the morning right here at TFNN. Folks, you can test drive the TAS scan the way you do it. You go to TFNN. You go to services. You're going to see... You go to newsletters, you go to services, you're going to see it right there. Test drive it 30 days, absolutely free. Stay right there. John Logan, Tom O'Brien, we'll come right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns as well as market trend calls. 
sequence. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on U.S. Treasuries, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary Prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're talking with our man, Mr. John Logan. We're talking about the uh, TAS professional software. You can test drive this by coming over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, go into services. You're going to see it right there. Uh, and as we're talking, uh, the, uh, the S&Ps uh, opened back up. And uh, bottom line is that uh, they're trading down uh, with some conviction out here. Uh, and I suspect, you know, what, what was pushing uh, the baby down in the first place, folks, is that uh, the gloves are off between the uh, European Central Bank and Greece. Uh, what had happened intraday out here tonight, uh, well, it was our day there at night, is that the uh, Prime Minister of Greece was meeting with um, Draghi and trying to uh, basically get something uh, straightened out. Uh, and guess what? Uh, right after he left, two hours after he left, uh, the ECB, the European Central Bank, decided that guess what? We are not taking the collateral anymore uh, from Greece, uh, they had waived, um, basically they were taking bad debt, folks, and they, and they were giving them more money. Bottom line, they changed it. <laughs> they changed it on the fly. That hit our market. Um, that, that's the great negotiation tactic, no doubt. <laughs>
Hey, John. <laughs> yeah. Volatility in spades, baby. I'm, I'm so happy we're talking about strictly charts and markets today. We kind of got off on a tangent last time I talked to you. I thought it was an episode of Ancient Aliens for a while there. Oh, but, man. Uh, <laughs> that was, you know what? I went home and listened to that again. <laughs> I, I, I had a minute. I, I, I think I listened to it in the morning. I was laughing, man. It was pretty good. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but uh, get, getting back to what we were talking about, yes. you know, like, what do you do now? The S&Ps. Right. Um, I've been kind of, when I did a research paper a week or two ago, two weeks ago that uh basically said you know what it's it's such a coin toss right now yes um you know the breads are flipping around we're kind of coming into a pinch here Volatility's high uh you know we need some confirmation if you're some i mean you know people out there are probably going why don't you tell me this three weeks ago before the volatility hit big but you know it's almost a time just to sit tight and wait for a move one way or the other um well, in you know what? You know it's so cool about that because, folks, we haven't moved. You know, the, the thing that's amazing right here, right. and what blows right. my mind. I mean, you know, my take. You know, I know you know, you know what? I think we're going to October fifteenth, and that's a long way down. But guess mm -hmm. what, folks? Okay, we're at the same spot we were at going back to September nineteenth. So we haven't yeah. moved. But as one of the tigers just said, John, by the, before you get off the air, your, your indicators may change. <laughs> your profiles may change. Yeah, on, on I'm the, only on the joking, but you know. <laughs> on the short on the shorter term, yeah. without question. Um, but you know, like you know, what do you do in these times? I mean, there's some great plays out there. Yes. And, and you don't have to just trade in indices or futures on indices. And I've got the scanner up right now. We talked about the XLE sure. last, last time I was on the air, actually. Right. And we talked about you know Anadarko. We talked about some pops that may happen here. Right. Buying on support. Um, you know, all finally kind of got a, a ricochet move up. Right. Uh, but we talked about, you know, how do you trade crude oil a little bit safer? And um, we talked about also the XLE showing its hand. I've got crude oil up right now. Obviously, this was a major turnaround. But you know what? There's no free lunch. These people that were buying the breakouts, we talked this morning, in fact, about waiting for some, you know, pullbacks into support. I think we got that. I, I think, you know, and this has been the first technical damage, by the way, two days ago since since one hundred dollars a barrel by the way isn't that amazing yeah and so, what he's talking about folks is that the, the bounce in in the crude market okay got over a profile so now it's like okay you're looking at it and say okay right is it a risk risk reward that you can go in you know and basically buy on a back down and put your stop below it yeah yeah it's cool man right right and and but you know like instead of trading crude oil, i mean the xle had showed its hand a little early yeah um and let me pull that up too and this was also in the scanner we said you know like let's let's try to find the strength of the xle i've got the xle chart right. up right now and we talked about buying above 74.18 we talked you know targets this whole week we talked about about 80 bucks 807 hit it backed off but you know if you look at this relative to crude oil, this, there's, this is not brain surgery. Obviously, the XLE is still wanting to show strength relative to that crude action even today. Um, and, you know, that tells me that, you know, there's a relative strength trade in place. Crude oil has kind of come back to support. And some of these stocks in the XLE, as exemplified by the scanner, I'm pulling it up right now. If you look at this, and I'm just gazing down the XLE components. If you look at our daily column, there's okay. a lot of greens. There's a lot of greens there still, yes. right? And that means that, and as some of these, like Anadarko APC, is sitting on the top of two inflection points there. I'm gonna pull this up. Right, sitting right there in the neighborhood of those weekly and dailies, look sitting right there. Right. And um, and you know these are these are trying to pick high probability, relatively strong stocks in a market that you know in my opinion is, has made a technical breakout actually um so you know that's the story on the xle um the financials i know you i think you've been kind of bearish on the financials right i have not? i have okay okay yeah i have too um and we actually caught a couple of good moves below 2370 down into these targets at 23 i still think that this is the play from the short side, and the XLE is the trade from the long side. Believe yeah, it or not. And, and you know yeah. the XLF, you know we're twenty three seventy one, and that uh, twenty one fifty five is hanging out there, man. And it, you had a failure today. The XLE, you know, got up to uh, twenty three ninety nine, gave it up. And what you're going to have, uh, this is where, see, this is where this really comes cool with the XLF, too, folks, is that the the announcement in the European Central Bank shutting off direct funds to the Greece banks to the greek banks let me tell you something 
that's a monster. Just, just picture. Yeah. We know they're broke, but now they don't have a cash flow. You don't have a cash flow, folks, you're done. You can be broke, but if you get a cash flow, you're not done. You can work your way out of it. And that was the essence of what the ECB was trying to do because they, they were going against their own rules. Well, evidently inside that negotiation with the prime minister, um, he thought he had the cards. And guess what? Draghi has the cards because he who has the cash has the cards. So. <laughs> well, all of this is obviously fundamentally unsettling for financial instruments in general. Sure. Even you know, when we have news like this out there and who knows what else is gonna come out of the closet, you never know. Um, and you know, we've got some inflection points here to pay attention to on the on the XLF on the XLF and uh, stops can be orient oriented around that. I heard you talking about the dollar earlier. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, you know, we talked about waiting for pullbacks on this thing, um, and that pullback happened. Uh, right into the 9367 area. A little bit of noise yesterday. And uh, this has obviously got that inverse relationship to the euro. And now the euro, with that type of news, is freaking some people out. Yeah. Um, and we talked about a resistance area on the euro around 114.70 something. Okay. Um, and the dollar buying at 93.67. So those kind of all came to fruition today. Yes. Uh, as we pulled back yesterday. And, uh, you know, the dollar at some point is going to have some issues. Um, but right now, I mean, you know, again, turning the rents the same way we, you know, we had a profile up here down below price action was above. That's, that's usually relatively bullish. Uh, and, um, you know, well, you again, know, I just, since you've been on and folks, the, these moves late in the day in the dollar normally don't happen, but with this announcement with the, you know, the dollar just turned around and went up another 400 ticks. So, and here's the euro. We, this is the gift, gift that keeps on oh, giving. Oh, look at that euro. Oh, my God. We, we talked about waiting. You know, it's like, nope, it's not, not time to sell it yet. We got into that 114.47 mm -hmm. area, overshot it a little bit, closed yesterday above, which was kind of pissed me, you know, upsetting to me, excuse me. We got back down below this morning during the show, and I was like, eh, that's it. It's yep. time to sell this thing. And then we got wow. the great news as the kicker. So that's Un uh, unbelievable. That's the way the story goes on that one. That's a beautiful thing. Well, listen, man, we appreciate the great education. And folks, great. you can test drive the uh, scanner by coming over to our website at TFNN. You go to newsletters. You're going to go to services. You can test drive it 30 days, absolutely free. And, of course, don't forget, great way to kick your morning off, folks. John kicks us off 8 o'clock in the morning, gives us a rundown of what's been going on across the world, what's going on on our futures. You can get all that audio right on your cell phone, tfnn.mobi. If you want to get Tiger TV, just on your cell phone, go tfnn.com, hit the TV on the top right-hand side. He'll be out there growling a problem. John, you have a, a great night, a safe night, and I know um, North Carolina, is that staying warm? You got a cold front? What, what's, what's happening in North Carolina? We got to fill the tank up again. I think there's another cold front coming through. Man, this is pretty <laughs> interesting this year. We've got quite a few cold fronts, no doubt. Yeah, no kidding. Well, good talking to you. You too, man. Have a great, great one. Man. Have a okay. safe one. Uh, after the close out here, folks, uh, great, great uh, Green Mountain uh, there, uh, basically toasting and roasting that baby. Let's go look at Yum Brands. Yum Brands came out with uh, numbers. Yum closed at 73. That's trading at 75. They're saying that, uh, that, that China, uh, basically food business is going pretty good again. Uh, the estimate was 66. They made 61. So they, they didn't make their numbers, but I suspect that uh, deal in China um, is, is helping them out a bit. Do not buy Yum Brands, folks, okay? Yum had already gapped down from 78. You're at 75. It's coming into that gap. And uh, thus far, you've come into that gap with dramatically lighter volume. So if we, uh, if we take a look at this, uh, you'll see how this uh, pulled it up. Uh, today, you did all about 3.6 million shares, and you're going into uh, a 10.3 million on the way down. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're going to come right back. The Dow finished up 6, NASDAQ down 11, S&P's off 17. We're going to be right back. Them. Grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. 
By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Each and every time that the dollar ticks higher, S&P wants higher price. Each and every time that the dollar is ticking lower, guess what? S&P wants lower price. Dollar, the metals, and the S&P are going tick for tick. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien. 
Welcome back, folks. Uh, the Dow finished up six. Nasdaq was down 11. S&P's uh, off uh, 18. And so what you had here intraday, okay, so, so you want to you check out uh, how this shook out. Uh, and <laughs> I can tell you, this is almost like when Alan Greenspan was the Fed chairman, folks, as to talking out of both sides of your mouth. This is the European Central Union uh, Bank actually doing the same thing. So the European Central Bank uh, put pressure on Greece's new government by restricting access to its direct lending lines, citing concerns about the country's commitment to existing bailout pledges. The governing council of the ECB today decided to lift the waiver affecting marketable debt instruments issued or fully guaranteed by the Greek Republic. The Frankfurt-based central bank said in an email statement, the governing council decision is based on the fact that it's currently not possible to assume a successful conclusion of the program review and is in line with the existing Euro system rules. The decision, now this is, this is the paragraph, the decision will force Greek lenders who since 2010 have been able to access funds from the European Central Bank against junk rated collateral. So what you had is this folks, so picture. You have collateral and the collateral itself, so let's say you, you have a a bond that's worth $100. That bond is junk, and in, in the case of Greece, that bond is probably worth all of 20 cents, if anything. But let's say, let's say it's worth 20 or 30 cents. Let's say it's worth 70 cents, okay? Bottom line is that they have been able to use that as collateral to get 100 cents. The reality is that, that those bonds are worth 20, 30 cents, if that. They have been getting 100 cents on it. So, it's a scheme, it has been a scheme since 2010, to keep the Greek government and businesses there alive so cash flow would be going. Okay, it's a big Ponzi scheme, that's all it really is. So, what, this came, by the way, two hours after, well here, the decision will force lenders who since 2010 have been able to access funds from the ECB against junk rated collateral to apply for funding from the National Central Bank at less advantageous rates. So they're still gonna be able to get money. It's gonna come at a higher price, maybe. The decision comes hours after Greek finance minister and the European Central Bank president met in Frankfurt uh, in order to gain support for the government's push to renegotiate the terms of the international bailout. So what this comes down to is this. And this is always important in understanding any type of negotiation or just life in general. If you're going to threaten something, folks, make sure you know the other side of it. And if you're going to do it, great, do it. It's no big deal. But know what you're getting into. In this case, what you have is this. The Greek prime minister, the new Greek government, flat out, has been saying, first time, hey, we're not going to negotiate this deal. We want this deal over with. We're going to negotiate a new deal. They came out. Firepower saying that, then what do they do? They back down. I suspect what you had happen here is that he goes into Draghi, he turns around and says, okay, whatever they said, guess what? Draghi has the stick. He says, okay, I'm going to call you a bluff. Whack! Whacks it down. Okay, so what's the next paragraph? The next paragraph, and this is where the European Central Bank is a trip in itself, because Draghi has been all, all, always been able to talk um, without using the stick. So, what do you hear this one? This, is, this cracks me up. This decision does not bear consequences for the counterparty status of Greek financial institutions and monetary policy operations. What that sentence says is this. I was talking a little bit earlier. If the Greeks go down the tubes, folks, our banks, huge funds, everyone, other banks are the counter-trend party. They're the ones that are going to get hit. It's not going to, everyone, we're all going to go to Greece, have some good ouzo, sit in the islands and have a good time, because that's, that's what's going to shake down here. That statement here is saying, hey, listen, folks, listen to the world, don't worry about their counter-trend parties, because, here's the next statement, because liquidity needs of the Euro system counterparties for counterparties that do not have sufficient alternative collateral can be satisfied by the relevant national central bank by means of emergency liquidity assistance within the exi existing Eurosystem rules. So, what does that mean? 
it means that the European Central Bank will give cash to all the counterparties if, in fact, the dominoes are falling. Now, does that make a difference in the context of how the dominoes fall? Yeah, it absolutely does. So we'll see where this whole thing shakes out. Bottom line, someone's going to lose when, when it comes down to it. Uh, but that's why they had to put that last paragraph inside the statement. Because what that, what that has done is this. Well, it has, certainly hasn't done anything in the S&Ps. They're selling the S&Ps off. What factually it has done, though, is that if the counterparty doesn't get paid, they say the European Central Bank will come in. Well, we know that all that has to really happen is that they just need someone like a, a Goldman Sachs who ends up getting paid from an AIG deal as long as you get the right connection inside um, the government and inside top money and everything else that gets bailed out. Because this is, we're still talking about uh, a bailout of banks, not a bailout of a country. The country has the debt. Politicians ran the debt up, no doubt. Everyone enjoyed the debt. But this is a bailout. And I suspect, when, you know, hey, listen, when push comes to shove, the bottom line is that the prime minister, they should go back to the, is it a dragma? I think uh, go, uh, go back to their own currency. Because all that does, by the way, is this. It will do absolutely not much to the environment in Greece as long as you're spending money in Greece. It does everything if, you, in fact, you want to go outside of Greece. But guess what? You get rid of all that debt, you start again, you roll it again. And, and the capitalist environment, just, you know, you have to, I have to understand how interest rate goes. Institutions, companies, all of the above, all at some point are going to end up basically going BK if, in fact, they keep borrowing money because there's no, there's not enough money to pay all the money back. That's what that really, that's, that's, what that, that's how that whole thing shakes out, folks. Let's go to Brian in Tampa. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tommy! <laughs> yeah, he, he must, he probably owns Ralph Lauren today. Yeah, Ralph, uh, Ralph Lauren's down like, what, 50 bucks? It's a beautiful thing, 30 bucks. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night, safe night. Look forward to speaking here, right here, tomorrow. Bam! Go get them, folks.